Hi there, I'm Justin, Product Development Engineer here at Temco, and I'm here today to talk to you about the stripping and soldering processes of GPMR200 and Solder-On 155 magnet wire. Now, Solder-On 155 comes in two different colors currently that we carry, red and green, and the GPMR200 comes in a nice uh, orange-amber color. Now, there's different stripping methods used between these two uh, wires, and you have to prep these wires for solder uh, differently. If you'd like to come out to the shop with me real quick, I'll go ahead and show you the different methods used to strip and solder to these different wires. So there's different stripping processes that are necessary for the GPMR200 versus the solder on 155 before you can solder to the wire. So to prep it, you've got to remove the insulation from the wire. Now with the GPMR200, this can be accomplished in a variety of ways. You can use a traditional set of wire strippers to, to strip the end of the insulation off. Or you could use a knife and just um, almost whittle the insulation off. Just be careful not to take too much of the copper off while doing this. Um, or the method that works really well is to take a piece of fine grit sandpaper and just go ahead and sand the insulation right off the end. And you'll be able to tell when you remove the insulation here because uh, you'll actually be able to see it's more of a copper and less of an amber color underneath. Um, and you just need to make sure that you get all the insulation off of where you're going to solder to because you don't want any of it interfering with the quality of your solder joint. Now, the other method that works with the GPMR200 is to actually go ahead and use a blowtorch to remove the insulation from the wire. And you just heat the wire up until the insulation all burns off, right on the end there. And you've got to let it cool for just a second. What it does do, however, is still leaves this sooty residue that still has to be removed. It's a little easier to take off than the insulation, but you still have to take your sandpaper and you still have to remove that soot so you can get a nice clean copper at the end of the wire there so that you have a good quality solder joint. With the solder-on 155, you can use all of the same stripping methods as with the GPMR200. However, it's not necessary to strip the wire before soldering because when you heat this wire, the, the uh, insulation will actually melt and act as a flux that will allow the, the solder to flow into the joint a little bit cleaner here. Um, but like I said, you can still take the sandpaper and just clean that insulation off of there to reveal the copper underneath if you, if you do so choose to do that. Please visit our website at www.temcoindustrialpower.com or you can click the link below to visit. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at area code 510-403-4061. And we'll be ha happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks.